I have a little rock right here. It's from just outside Dublin. Is this us going? Yeah. All right. I just thought it would be a slightly different intro, me telling people about my rock. Lads. Sup? When do I change my profile picture on Facebook and stuff? Because I haven't done it in. She is a paranational champion. You're a paranational second, second place. place. <laughs> to be fair, I think if you if you could have run, you would have like whipped our asses. Are we allowed to say ass in this podcast? Do you know, I thought we were trying to keep it like PG. You would have whipped our donkeys. We should have put no parental guidance on this. There's nothing wrong with saying donkeys. Oh, yeah, Pretty sure it says it talks about an ass in the Bible instead of a donkey yeah, in some well, translations. Yeah, but you didn't mean a donkey. No, I meant our tushies. <laughs> <laughs> tushies. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another Skip Twins podcast. Um, I'm Chloe. I'm Judith. I feel like we don't introduce ourselves enough at the beginning of a podcast because I yeah. have been listening and I'm kind of like... Genuinely, though, whenever I listen, like, and this is me talking, like, Sometimes I should know my to yeah, tell. yeah, I should know my own voice, but I don't. Um, and then like I'd be talk, like you'd be talking, and I'd be like, oh, I don't remember saying this, and then you'd laugh, and I'd be like, oh, that's, that's not me. My, I should have thought is. Yep. And yeah, I feel like we should start by saying we have a new Instagram page, as per the last podcast when we asked, should we do it? Um, so the po- the Instagram name is the t h e underscore fit f-i-t dot like it's in full stop or twins. period if you're american we've talked about how that makes it makes uncomfortable awkward so the underscore fit dot twins we'll try and find a simpler username to to use maybe just like fit twins or something like that um funnily enough yesterday we got caught okay right hold on yesterday we were at the paranational championships for triathlon yep um Judith came first, along with her guide Louise. I came second with my guide Susan. But Chloe did a fantastic swim in the sea, in open water. She got her face in the water, sub 20 minutes, about 17 minutes. 17 and a half. 17 and a half minute swim. Guys, wherever you are, unless you're driving, Susan, (laughs) give her a round of applause here. No, don't. Oh, that's going to be really sore on people's ears. I'm really sorry, but Chloe Oh, did that hurt my ears? You deserved it. No. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I'm very proud, but also a wee bit raging because my son was like 21 minutes. But I mean, whatever, it's fine. I totally could have beat you if I could have run. Yeah. I have a wee case of plantar fasciitis and I had to Google how to pronounce it, but I have that on my foot from the half marathon and I haven't been able to run properly and honestly I didn't think it would be as heartbreaking but yesterday it just got to me halfway through the run everybody was running past me and I was like in fairness I can run I, that past. we used to do 26 minute runs ish like if you think about when we started yeah that's unreal progression hashtag progression um yeah, it was a good race yesterday. Um, I didn't get my face in the water, unfortunately, but I mean, I, I mean, managed for, to swim. away first and second is good and, you know. Made up a lot of time on the bike. Yeah. Even though Paul, our coach, said it was flat. It was not flat. It's not flat. I mean, on the bike, I was like, right, grand, fine. It wasn't awful on the bike. You know, we had the gears. And then on the run, I was like, we need to have a discussion with Paul about what flat is. Because we were dying. We properly killed ourselves. I mean, I don't think you'll ever get, like, a properly flat bike course. I mean, Belfast was, like, Belfast was flat. But you've got, like, massive winds in Belfast. Yeah, I suppose. Anyway. I can't remember what I was going to say. No, I was You gonna... were going to talk about yesterday, how we got called something. Oh, yeah, we got called the Tandem Twins, and I was like, that's a really good name. Did someone not call us the Skit Twins at one point? Yeah, Leo. Fair. Fair. Hey, Leo. Or, or Stephen. Hey, Stephen. I think it was maybe Stephen. Whoever it was. Hope you listened to the podcast. If not, disappointed. Very disappointed, but also that you're never going to hear our disappointment Uh, until you listen to the podcast, in which case we can't be disappointed with you anymore because you're listening to the podcast. That is true. Man, things are weird. Chloe. What? How long is it till Christmas? 100 and something sleeps. I am so hyped for Christmas. So am I. I was just looking at your wee penguin light there and it just... Christmas... I'm ready. 
Poppy season is coming up too, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's, that's the 11th of November. November. I just found my wee poppy but I just set it on my mantelpiece last year going, I'm going to remember about that and I'm going to put it away somewhere safe. Didn't put it away somewhere safe. But, but you, you did remember. Past Chloe, fair play. It's it's still where you left it on like the 11th of November 2018. Fair, fair play, fair play. Uh, I tidied my desk over the over the weekend. When? Like Thursday, Friday, 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 Thursday, 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 because we went to Dublin on Friday to stay with Judith Skate Louise for the night. They have an adorable dog called Callie, and we completely spoiled her by just petting her all the time. I got 10,000 steps petting Callie. I say that I have like a Fitbit, 25 pound Amazon Fitbit style thing. Yes. Count your steps, but it also counts steps as petting. So if you have a Fitbit or anything, just go pet a dog. Pet a dog, you don't have to walk. Or go on a safari in South Africa because yeah. we all got our steps on the safari because it was so bumpy. Bumpity, 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 bump. Good times, good times. Good. Good. It's good. We haven't got any questions on Twitter and I'm quite disappointed. I've given people half an hour and they're still not. I also did a second tweet on Skit Twins. What did you? Yeah, I was like, I just quote tweeted the original tweet and I was like, we're recording the podcast now. And then I was like, Judith, I've been standing waiting to record the podcast now. And Judith was just dropping the kids off. I was, yeah. Oh, look, my guide from lockdown Judith, liked my no picture. no one listening can look. Sorry, my guide from lockdown was just liking my pictures. Um, and it was nice because... Ask my guide from Loch Ness. I know her. Sounds good. Uh, you got some really nice pictures of you at the triathlon yesterday. Um, I'm a wee bit jealous. Mine did not turn out fantastically to be. Totally it's mainly just because the run, because the run, I couldn't run it, so we were just sort of taking it easy. No, I mean the one of you. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? I just dropped the stone down my front. I was really cold. <laughs> You didn't see that, guys, but Chloe's <laughs> face just changed to one, like a look of complete utter and utter panic. But then also, it's quite a big rock, so I was I was also worried that it would just go straight down and then like bang onto my toes because like I have a broken heel. I don't want a broken toe too. I don't actually have a broken t heel. Plantar fasciitis is like a ligament damage that connects your heel to like the rest of your foot. Thank you for that anatomy lesson. You're what was Susan welcome. saying about your tongue and how biting your tongue makes you concentrate more? Oh, because um, between like size... Can I touch this? No. Was her, it was my rock. Can't even remember what I called him. Did I call him Rocky? Rocky. Rocky. Rocky the rock. She was trying to touch Rocky. Um, your tongue um, and ner the nerves connecting to your tongue. There's more nerves per weight <laughs> of your tongue. <laughs> Like, your arm is big, right? So you yeah. think it has a lot of nerves. Uh -huh. But your tongue has more nerves per, like, because of the size of it. In relation to size, your tongue has more nerves. That's so why In relation to size, your tongue has more nerves. Yeah. So, so, like, by biting your tongue, it's your brain trying to concentrate because your tongue moves, like, a lot, just even just without realising. And then by biting your tongue, you're keeping your tongue still. You're not using those nerves. You're able to concentrate. I thought it would be maybe like you're biting it and then you're feeling the nerves and then the nerves are sort of making your brain go, oh, hey. No. No. No, that's but not. But see, why don't, you don't bite your tongue. I do sometimes. Not as much as you. But no, whenever you're concentrating, you don't bite it. You just stick it in between your lips. I know, I bite it. Like, not properly, fully, like, munching on it, but like, <laughs> <laughs> your teeth do touch it. I mean, yeah, but like, you're not, it's not a case of like, your brain's like, oh, hey, nerves. <laughs> I, I put on tracks of bottoms today and I'm really regretting it. I'm starting to sweat a wee bit. I have the radiator on in my room. Why? Because it was quite cold this morning, Judith. Okay. Because it was windy last night and the wind was coming through that window and my feet got cold. Oh, your poor feetsies. I need another nap. No, it's fine. I can sleep on like... I don't know. Whatever. Naps are good, guys. Always take. Tell you what, right now, just where you're at, unless you're in a car, Susan, we're watching. Su Susan! Put that drink down. Hands on the wheel. Ten and two. Right. Anyway, <laughs> wherever you're at right now, unless you're in a car, well, you just put everything down and just have a wee nap. 
because that's what some people do in other countries. They have a wee bell for break time and they just down toodles and sleep for like 15 minutes and then the wee bell goes again. They're just not working again. That would 100% 100 be me. If I had to go back to school and had like break time and lunch time, I would just sleep. Like, I mean, I'd have a wee, a wee bite to eat and then I would just sleep, but I would probably prioritise the sleep. I, I just, I think final year of school was just a exhaustion. I just remember being tired. I don't think I was that tired. Napping on the bus was great though. Yeah. And you always have enjoyed my wee bus naps. Bus naps. Bus snaps. That's bus naps, not bus snaps. Or just buh snaps. Bus snaps. Bus snaps. <laughs> <laughs> so, Judith, do you have a random fact for me? I don't, but I could probably look up one if you wanted. Okay. I can give you a random fact. Give me one. Hit me. Don't actually hit me, I'm eight, very sensitive. Eight fingers and ten toes. Yeah. Well, that is an actual fact. I was like, what? <laughs> um, let's see. Random fact. But see, if someone says, oh, tell me a random fact, you could literally just say anything. Like, you could be like, happy is spelled H-A-P-P-Y, because that is a fact. And it is a wee bit random. Like, they didn't specify, tell me a random fact that I didn't know. Yeah, that is true. So, I mean, if you're going to say things like that, guys, just be specific. Did you know that one bolt of lightning contains enough, enough energy to toast? You're making the whole fat mental place vibrate whenever you speak there. Unreal. Don't do it. A bolt of lightning contains <laughs> enough energy to toast 100,000 slices of bread. Doesn't say if it's wholemeal or white, but I mean... Your voice sounds different too whenever you lean on that. It's because I'm not opening my mouth as much because I'm leaning on my chin. Oh no, it's just weird. Take your chin off it. You can hear a blue wheel's no, heartbeat. No, don't. Take your chin off it. <laughs> Sorry. It's weird. Don't cry. You can hear a blue whale's heartbeat from two miles away. Whenever you phone 999, you should always give them your address first before you mention the issue. Why? In case it gets worse? Well, no, in case, like, I don't know, like, the phone battery dies or whatever, they'll at least know how to get to you and be like, right, okay, we'll just send everyone out and then... I mean, I would say that, yeah, your phone dying before you can tell your address, that is the issue getting worse. Well, I mean, yeah, but... Nearly 30,000 rubber ducks were lost at sea in 1992 and they're still getting discovered today. Hold on, I want to find out more about this story. I want to find a rubber duck. Over 25 years ago, a cargo ship travelling from Hong Kong to the United States accidentally lost a shipping crate in the Pacific Ocean. Inside that crate were 28,000 rubber ducks, unwittingly about to embark on many long journeys across the globe. Oh, I'd call mine Frederick. As rubber ducks continue to pop up on shores around the world from Australia to Alaska, they've enlightened our understanding of ocean currents. Some have made it all the way to the Atlantic Ocean, while others have been found frozen in, I in ice in the Arctic. No way! That's so cool! Those ducks had an adventure. Franklin. Franklin's a good- no, Franklin was like a turtle. Oh, uh, hold up. This what? one's a bit grim. What? The inventor of the frisbee was turned into a frisbee when he died. What? And we'll end it there. How was he turned it? Was he just like... I don't know. Maybe his whole body was just melted down. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose his Steady gone. Ed Hedrick was invented the frisbee in the 1950s. He went on to invent sport of disc golf. He lived for frisbee. His wife said... Um, I'm when he died ashes. When he died in 2002, his final wish was to have his ashes turned into what else but a frisbee. His son said it was his father's dream that they play with him after death. And might even accidentally end up on someone's roof. I mean, Dad's on the roof again, Mum! I mean, he really did live for his work, didn't he? Oh, imagine that. That'd be weird. Hey, do you wanna, do you wanna go outside and play with Mum? <laughs> Where is she? Oh, she's still on the roof from last night. <laughs> Here! We were on U105 with Frank Mitchell this week. Yep. My just, hero. Do you gotta speak to Frank? Frank's a top lad. He had done his he had done his homework. In he had. Uh, he was asking us questions and we were like, no, but Frank, the questions you were supposed to ask us, you answered at the very start yeah. of this interview. <laughs> we had been given a brief 
by the RNIB and they were like, oh yeah, so this is what you're going to say. And then Frank started talking and he was saying everything. I was literally just going, what did I say now? You just stole my line. Hey Frank, how's it going? And yeah, it was just, yeah. And he finished the interview and I was like, do I hang up? Guys, do I hang up? Guys. I hung up and I felt a bit rude in all honesty, but... I mean, I did it. I just felt like whenever he said bye to me properly, like I felt like it was kind of like a, oh, she's still here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, they could have just hung up on me. Yeah. But, yeah. And then we also got the BBC people. Top day. Good, Good day. day. Hashtag see differently. Because every eye condition is... Di look after your eyes too. Put on sunglasses. Don't look at the sun. Never... Yeah, well, don't, yeah, don't look, look at, the, at sun. the sun ever, ever. Chloe has just stuck her rock in her mouth. <laughs> Chloe, don't. Why? If it touches your teeth, I will puke. <laughs> <laughs> like just the thought of someone biting down on this. <laughs> <laughs> you know what sound it'll make? No. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's not actually too bad. <laughs> you know what would have been a worse sound though? Can I just borrow this? No, you can't take my ring. I took a guitar pick, it's fine. Oh, don't scrape it. Dude, you're gonna give people nightmares. Oh, you can't even hear it. Oh, that's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. Stop, we're not doing a smur video. And it, ASMR. Yeah, a smur. A smur. Asthma. I still don't understand that. No. Did we ever tell you guys about the time we were babysitting um, a kid and she was like on YouTube and she was looking up all these ASMR videos of people eating like honeycomb and stuff and it was just people fully just <coughs> like to a microphone and a camera. Like I'm disgusted that you even made that noise. <laughs> so my bit in fairness but I mean just. You didn't have to do it like four times. I had to emphasize uh. the point. I'm so, you disgust. I'll just leave. Bye. Uh, no, just come back. I'm really leaving. No, come back. I'm out. Oh, it's just gone. Anyway, we really hate ASMR videos because um, it's just weird. Like, why would you watch someone eat stuff and then just like listen to the noise of it? Like, just, just go sit in a room with a toddler. Like, cause that's the way they eat. They're gonna eat honeycomb and just like let it crunch with their mouth open and stuff. And like, they're gonna show it to you too, like in their mouth. Like, just get the real experience. Fair. That is good. Are you calm? I am clam. You're clam, yeah, that's your that's your initials. Uh, that is me. That's your initials. How do you? How do you? Are you right? Are you right? You went, oh, I'm sorry, I yawned. Yep. It's just a podcast thing and you yawn. It is, yeah. It's awful. I'm not a huge fan of yawning either. It's not even you can like... You can suppress a yawn though. I did that for two years in geography. Because <laughs> <laughs> our teacher used to just... He didn't like people yawning in his class. I mean, fair enough. But I was a very yawny person. I still am. And uh, yeah, I just always had to swallow my yawns or just duck my head and just hope that he didn't notice. He never gave off to me. I think he could tell I was trying. <laughs> I mean, she yawned, but she tried so hard to hide it. Yeah. Plus, I flippin' love geography. I mean, he should have taken offence. I, I was loving his classes, but, like... She's lacking oxygen, sir. I'm good to go. <laughs> <laughs> and they're just, like, goofy little smile. Just, yeah. Yeah. What's this we're talking about? Long short drift? Hold on. Let me, get some, let me get some oxygen. <laughs> yeah, let's get those groins going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds. I was talking about the geography groins, not like. <laughs> that was going to be the title of this podcast. I was talking about geography groins. Or let's, no, get just, groins. let's get these groins going. Well, I need to make a note of that just so I don't forget. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I didn't. I didn't. I hope you're giggling. I let's hope. get. <laughs> <laughs> no, well. I've made a fool of myself this podcast. <laughs> it's been That's fun. me done. It's been fantastic. What's been fantastic? Me making You're a fool of myself. Of yourself. I've loved it. You're very welcome. Thank you for sharing. Take off my hoodie I'm oh, gonna... Chloe's gone. Chloe's gone. I'm right here. I'm just stuck in my hoodie. Um, we've met some really great dogs 
lately, I feel. I like dogs. Dogs are just the best. Like, if you're having a real bad day, just go pet a dog. You just spat on me. You're welcome. Thanks. Hambre. 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 Is that not that, that uh, gorilla? No. Gorilla, yeah. Are gorillas monkeys? Not to sound ignorant. I'm going to sound, say yes. Okay. They are from the monkey family. We are from the monkey family. I mean, if you believe in evolution, then yeah. So... So... You're a monkey? I'm not. I'm a human. Human? <laughs> Why did you say that so weird? I just became really aware of the way you have to make the H sound at the start of human. Human. Human? You don't have to over-exaggerate it like that. I know, that. but that's how you make the noise. Human. 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 Humus. <laughs> Hummus. Human. Do I say that normally? Human. 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 <laughs> That's how it's spelt. No, it's Haman. 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 I'm a Haman. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Chloe. I'm a Haman. <laughs> you know what's great? What? The ocean. Why? It's wavy. You can't just say these things and then not be able to back them up to us. No, but I mean, it's really cool because it can destroy things and also build them up. I mean, you can have constructive beaches and destructive beaches. So basically the ocean is just sharing the wealth of beaches with poorer beaches. The, the ocean is Robin Hood. But the ocean's not doing that. The ocean was... is literally destroying people's homes. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but to be fair, right? The ocean, like, owns the edges of the land. Should have people paid for those homes? But they didn't. And they don't get that money back. <laughs> <laughs> but they didn't pay the ocean. How do you know? Should have. The ocean's just, just... The ocean's just mean. It's not, though. The ocean doesn't care who you are. I mean, that's fair, but... Have you seen those pictures of those babies being knocked over by the waves? Like, the ocean takes no prisoners. I'm not gonna lie. Those videos are really funny, okay? <laughs> and if that makes me a bad person... <laughs> <laughs> then okay. Judith. Yeah. How can you love the ocean this much, okay? It's salty, people pee in there, turtles are getting stuck in plastic bottles. I mean, that's not the ocean's fault. How do you know? That is people's- You said the ocean takes stuff from one place to another. The ocean is responsible for taking those plastic bottles away. They could put them somewhere safe, like in the bin. But no, the ocean just takes them and is like, here little turtle, why don't you just stick your face in this? <laughs> And the I mean, like, oh, I wonder what this is. And the mummy turtle's like, no, don't do that. That's like humans sticking their head in a plastic bag. And the baby turtle's like, I don't see what's wrong with you, mother. I don't see what's wrong with you. And then the ocean is basically a toddler. Why? The ocean doesn't understand that plastic bottles are dangerous. It's just trying to be like, here, turtle, I got you a toy. And then it's like killing the turtle and then it feels really bad. So does that mean you're saying that it's the adult turtle's fart? Farts. <laughs> <laughs> the adult turtle's fault that the baby turtles are getting stuck in plastic bottles. No. Then who's Because the grown-up turtles are maybe like, Oh, that's so kind, Mr. Ocean. Thanks for this toy for my, my baby's dead. That's real sad. So whose fault is it? Humans. It's our it's fault. It's gone full circle. Thank you very much. <laughs> Discussing the real issues right here. <laughs> As I, always. I just, oh, that was, that was a whirlwind of a circle. It really was. Yes. Your hair even looks windswept. It's ocean swept. Ocean swept. Ocean. 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 That sounds kind of like Japanese. Yeah. It's a good word. Ocean. Okay. We did this last week, didn't we? Or a couple of weeks ago. 
just pronounced word. Oh, wait, no, I got distracted and I started saying the word fire in different different accents. We've done that already Pardon with humans. Me. We can't do it again. Excuse you. Thank you. You're welcome. I have just suddenly decided that I really want Cocoa Pops. Wherever you are now, guys, just stop your car or get off the bus or start or stop walking. Uh, not, not immediately. Let me finish my sentence. Start the car again. Get back on the bus. That's it. Uh, Chloe just had a guitar pick. This is just the guitar pick I eat all the time. Basically, just... Oh, I touched that. <laughs> Continue. You didn't stop me. Um, but yeah, just wherever you are, go to a shop and buy some cereal and some milk and a bowl and a spoon if, if you need that. And just treat yourself to some cereal. Not while you're driving. I mean, stop the car and go out and buy the things and then go back home and enjoy a nice wee bowl of cereal to yourself. And remember not to cry if you spill some milk, because it's just some milk. But don't buy cereal and milk if you have cereal and milk at home. Also, don't... Unless... Also, you know, buy whatever milk you're comfortable with. Yeah, I mean... If you like almond water, go for almond water. It's not called almond milk. It is, but it's not milk. It doesn't come from, like, an animal's teats. <laughs> Udders. You said... Like, it's not milk. It's just, like, water with almond flavouring on it. I mean, that is true. And that like, is true. Cashew and all that sort of milk. It's all a basically not. Not milk, you're saying, should be called not water. Can you please stop eating that guitar pick? Why? It's just it's making you uncomfortable. Yeah, I don't I don't even know. <laughs> I just, I'm just a toddler. You are. Now you're licking your rock. <laughs> you do that so gently, like a wee dog. Just. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just... Yeah, I'm just a toddler. I'm... I'm a toddler. Your passport is right here too. Yeah, it is. That's my safe place. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. It's 100% safe there unless someone moves it, in which case it was my fault that it got moved. I didn't move it. That is a very good way to... Well, I'm... I don't know if that's a good way to store things or not, but I, I can see your logic. <laughs> I mean, if I put it away somewhere, I'll be like, no, did I put it in my cupboard, or did I put it under my bed, or did I put it in a drawer? Which safe place did I put it? And, like, you can't put a reminder on your phone, because I don't know when I'm going to need my passport again. Like, yeah. I might decide tomorrow, oh, I'm going to go to Barcelona, and then I'll be like, where's my passport? But right now, I can be like, my passport is on the fireplace, where it's always been. Why are you trying to touch the roof? I just wanted to stretch my arm, and I thought maybe the roof would be cold for me to touch, but I can't reach it. You should be able to reach it. Just go on your tippy toes. I got it. She got it. I just had to stand up straight. This she just had to stand up straight. This podcast is an absolute train wreck. It is. But um, let's just keep going. Choo choo. That's weird. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. I can feel a burp coming, so can you just stop <laughs> for a wee minute while I just... I think it's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> that was gonna be quiet. That was not oh, quiet. Is. Oh, it's it's stank. Fragrant, fragrant burp. Oh, the burp. It is yeah. So you were saying? I don't even know. I was just gonna. I had started that sentence, but I didn't know where it was gonna end. To be honest. Fabulous. Yeah, I know. Do you have the Google game? Um, no, but I can get it very quickly here. Okay. Because that's a game we like to play. Um, if you're new to this and you have never heard of the Google game, Juth types in the start of a search thing and I have to try and guess the top five answers. So she could type, when will? And I have to try and guess things like, when will the world end? When will I be president? When will my dog stop licking its butt? When will the dishwasher be done? When will... I get a job. I think I think we get it. When will When Will gets a job, how much will he be paid? Well what? 
because Will's a boy's name. Oh. So instead of like, when will something happen? It could be like, when Will does this, what happens when this happens? Can we... Can we... Can we do, can blind people... Okay. Oh, can, can blind people see? You can't... I'm supposed to be answering them. Oh no, that's, that's the thing. Can blind people see what? Colours. Yeah, that's one. Dreams. Yeah. Dead people. No. X-ray vision. No. See shapes. No. Light. Yeah. Dark. No. The sun. There's one that's really random. My dog. No. A car. No. Water. Can blind people see in the dark? No. The light. No. In space. No. In rain. Yeah, can blind people see in the rain? What? What about if you just go can blind people? Um, that's not really how I did it, but yeah, I can do that. Right, so what can well, I'll do it, I'll do it, and you can guess. No worries there, pal. You're welcome. Go ahead and commandeer my phone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it hit her in the face. She almost dropped it, and it hit her in the face. Um, my phone, that is not, not me. Can you hear the cars going past in this podcast? I hope not, because that would be a real downer. What are you... How is it taking you this long? I'm going to type it in again, because I spelt blind wrong. I spelt it... Blind. Blind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, I got it. Right. Can blind people see? Yeah. Can blind people see dead people? No. Can blind people taste colours? No. Can blind people sense colours? No. Can blind people have a sixth sense? No. Can blind people... Oh, that means I'm close. No, I was just reading through. Oh, can blind people drive cars? Yep, that's, can, that's the top answer. Can blind people drive? Can blind people have a dog? No. Can blind people see anything? Yeah, can blind people see? Like, <laughs> can you actually see? Like, you're blind, but can you see? Um, uh, yeah, that's. Is that all of them? No. Can blind people? Some of them. Some of them are the ones that like are ones that I said. In can my... blind people see light? Yeah. Can blind people see shapes? No. Can blind people see in the rain? No. Can blind people see colours? No. See dogs? No. See smells? No. See dreams? <laughs> Can blind people dream? Can blind people dream? Okay, there's three more. <gasps> Can... I was like, what blind people can... Like, can they do it? Well, that's can still a good question. Can blind people watch TV? No. Can blind people use a phone? No. Can blind people ride a scooter? No. Can blind people write? Yes. Can blind people read? No. Can blind people cry? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, can blind people cry? For real? Yeah. Okay, can blind people flip pancakes? <laughs> I'm going to give you that one <laughs> Chloe's trying to give me hints I knew it was cooking Yeah But you were right. flipping pancakes I was flipping a pancake Flipping pancake is another Rachel swear I do believe Can blind people hallucinate was another one Fair I was going to exit out of it there But I didn't get a chance to press the Oh no it's fine just keep it Because then I know what ones we've done X button What's our Northern Irish phrase of the week? <laughs> Can you just waft that out of the way first? <laughs> we'll do. You just you just keep talking there. I I'll, need to think of a, a phrase. Waft. <laughs> you waft that thing. <laughs> have we done queer job? We have. Have we? Yeah. Uh, that would have been a good one, so we would. Uh, we've also done so it would. Um, what about she believed she could, so she did? I like that one. It's a... It's Inspiring, inspirational phrase, and it's meant to be inspirational. She, she, what did I say? Inspirational. <laughs> I thought I'd corrected myself. Uh, it's. I mean, you kind of did, but just not quite. <laughs> <laughs> it's meant to be an inspiring phrase. I think I meant to say inspiring and inspirational at the same time. Yeah, way. I agree with that. Yeah. Um, and it's meant to be. See, she believed she could, so she did. But then, as we talked about another time. Um, I think so it is 
so we did so we does so she does we did definitely talk about yeah. that so someone read that and they then pronounced it as she believed she could so she did and that phrase just became ruined for everybody in northern ireland pretty much i'm gonna look at my um my weather companion okay um it's a little book i got in third year of uni does it have about clouds that's what i'm looking to see if there is um but i got it in third year of uni in one of my modules that judith didn't do with me i did conflict because i like conflict and it's called the weather companion did you have to pay for it i did have to pay a pound for it pound yeah it's not bad um well it was like a pound deposit and she was like honestly just give me the pound and you can just keep it forever um but anyway i got it it's called the weather companion and yeah is it, it was, your best friend it was in that module because i didn't know anybody i didn't yeah everybody else had done like um marine biology and stuff yeah it does it has alto stratus alto cumulus stratus cumulus cumulonimbus i'll read you out a few of the descriptions alto stratus is a layer of almost unbroken cloud at a medium height Alto cumulus, fairly high woolly looking clouds. Stratus, almost continuous sheets of low cloud, often grey and associated with drizzle. Cumulus, low puffy clouds, sometimes white and associated with fair weather, but may grow upwards, produce showers and take on some of the char characteristics of cumulonimbus. And talking about cumulonimbus, guess which one's next? Stratus. Nimbus stratus, no. Cumulonimbus <laughs> is the classic thunder cloud with a fairly low cloud base and a very high top, often flat. Although how you'd see that whenever you're like that thick. But anyway, right. You could um, see it from a plane. True. And maybe up to four to five kilometres from top to bottom. This great height is caused by rising air currents inside the cloud, which allows big raindrops are healed to develop five kilometers is pretty big yeah we've ran that far there's only three left can i just read all yep go on ahead so nimbo stratus is low heavy looking sheets of gray cloud associated with continuous rain eg at a warm front we're not going to go into fronts we'll do that next week um fracto fracto stratus oh fracto stratus never heard that one before I should have heard that one before. Yeah, this is your book. Very low ragged clouds associated, associated with wet and windy weather. And the final one, can you guess what it is? Fracto. Stratocumulus, exactly. Well done, Judy, you got it right. An apparently contradictory name applied to cumulus clouds that have spread out and combined to form a broken sheet or to thin, thin stratus that appears to be breaking up into separate clouds. Is that the ones that look like lamb's tails? No, no they're too fluffy for that. That too is, wispy. that's those ones I think. Yeah. Or else it's alto cumulus. We have a question. Oh, do we? Yeah. Fantastic. Les has stepped up. Thanks, Les. So the question is, if you decided to um to have a rescue... Why the flip is there a cup of coffee in this? Oh, fog. Okay. That's steam though. Sorry, continue. I was just... If you decided to rescue like... a cat, right? To, to You're just talk, a... talking to my pal. But to yeah, get a cat as a rescue pet. All right, would I ever get a cat no. as a rescue pet? Do, do you pick one from a catalogue? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Catalogue. Catalogue. But then that would make you a cataholic. Yeah. They do things differently than my church. <laughs> what? <laughs> you just said that was such a straight face. It was great. I wish you could have seen my straight face, guys, because it was pretty straight. It was? I said it wasn't really. You can't say things with a straight face because, like, a straight face is just like... No, as in you said it and then you had a very straight face. Almost unnatural. Do yeah. a straight face? Why are you doing your eyes like that? Because it's my concentration face. Contra concentration. You're concentrating. I am concentrating. <laughs> it's a very nice face. Thanks. You're welcome. I made it myself. Did you? No. 
Well, yeah, technically I did. My, like, cells and stuff, like, joined together. And mummy was, I was in her tummy, so she helped me make it. And Anyway, let's move away from that subject. Today's podcast is sponsored by Turtles. Turtles, don't stick your head in the plastic bottle. This podcast is also brought to you by rocks. I like to lick them. <laughs> this podcast is also brought to you by Chloe's face. She made it herself. This podcast is also brought to you by that guitar pick I put in my mouth. That guitar pick I put in my mouth. It's only one guitar pick, but I always put it in my mouth. And finally, from me, this podcast is brought to you by cats. Cats, you can pick them from a catalogue, but you don't want to become a catal- cataholic because they do things a bit differently. This podcast is also brought to you by my foot. My foot, it's broken, but it's, it's okay. Excellent. Those were great sponsors. I hope someday we can have an actual sponsor. That would be really cool. We'd be like, brought to you by a brand. Hope it's a cool brand, not like one of those weird ones like um, Casper Mattress. Because it's like, hey guys, I want you to sleep some more. And it's like, yeah, I want you to sleep some more, but also like, those mattresses are really expensive. Like, you don't have to buy one, but I mean, they're sponsoring us, so please buy one. But like, guys, just save your money. Yeah, if it was something like Smarties, I would totally be like, guys buy some Smarties. Four like <laughs> Nestle Smarties, not the American ones. The American ones are just... They're I mean, not great, the, guys. Sorry, but they're not. It's just chalk that you can eat, really. So does that mean I would like them? Because I like licking rocks. Chalk? I know, but chalk is a rock. I mean, if... You, know, you do you, okay? <laughs> you just... <laughs> You're literally just licking that rock as if it's a wee lollipop. It tastes salty. Because it was, you found it at the sea. It could be covered in dog pee. I don't taste dog pee off it. I just taste salt. You know what dog pee tastes like. I mean, no, but like... It might taste salty whenever it's dried because it's just the saltiness from the pee that has been left. Well, I'm not dead yet, so... I'm not saying it'll kill you, but I'm just saying it's a wee bit gross. I'll survive. Okay, thanks. I can fit the whole thing in my mouth. Oh my word, that's really cool. I can, I'm can. i going to go downstairs and just be like, oh my look. And then just like, <laughs> book out a rock. <laughs> I'll video that if she does it, guys. Don't worry. But you wouldn't be able to, if you had it in your mouth, you wouldn't be able to speak. It would scrape against your teeth. Oh, oh, oh she's putting it in. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't fit doesn't, in her mouth. It doesn't quite fit. Oh, I can't put it down now. I'm just going to soak the mantelpiece. <laughs> Is this a mantelpiece or a fireplace? It's a mantelpiece. What's the difference? The mantelpiece is the shelf above the oh, fireplace. Oh yeah, the fireplace is the fireplace where the, is where, where the, the it's the place, it's place for the fire. For the fire. <laughs> Why is it called a mantelpiece? It's a piece of mantle. Bro, because the mantle, <laughs> the mantle is, is the, the thing the that's rock. on the. It's the underneath lava body, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to say bro, but I forgot the R. <laughs> but yeah, the mantle. Uh, it dried and real fast dry. You go, Rock. Back on the side, so, so like. Because you slavered more on that side. Uh, she just gobbed out on the thing. I'm going to see how long it on takes it. to dry. Okay, so I'm going to start the timer now. And just to see how long it takes. Oh, okay. That means we have to keep this podcast going until your rock dries. You can't blow on it. That's cheating. Okay, sorry. Yeah. My bad. Uh-huh. Yeah. My triathlon coach owes me a watch. Because he told me that I had to do a sub-20 swim and then he would get me a watch. And guess what I did yesterday? 17 and a half minutes. He used to get me a watch. I don't get a watch. You almost get a watch. I do. I mean, to be fair, I already have a watch that's waterproof. So, you know, he just doesn't need to know that. So you can have it. <laughs> I'm really hoping for a really fancy what I flip and hope he doesn't listen to this. <laughs> hey man! Hey! What's up? I hope it's a really nice watch that can I can use for my run and bike as well, because that'll be real that'll nice. That'll be real. Well no, if I get the, if he sends me that then I don't think he's gonna send it to you. I think you have to wait till November. Stop blowing on it, that's cheating! Okay. It's I just fun. I didn't even make the rules here. It's, it's your competition with your rock. I'm making it move. Uh it's like a wee lake. A wee le- oh, lake, lake, got it, 
got it. I thought you said leg for a second. And then... What would a leg be made of water? I don't know. Why are you saying water? Water. 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 What are you doing? I don't know. I was just singing a wee song. Did you see what I did there though? I went water. <laughs> no, what are you doing? I didn't see what you were doing just because it's words. You can't see words unless they're written down. I thought you were trying to make a joke there about the sea because the sea is made of water, but that's fine. Just you. What? <laughs> <laughs> I am completely lost here. Because <laughs> I said. I thought you were going to explain it. I'll explain it if you want me to, though. Um, but only our listeners. I won't explain it for you. So just. Uh, give us a tweet at skit underscore twins on Twitter and be like, Hey, Judith, what did you mean by about, see, did you see what I did there? And I'll probably not understand. And I'll be like, huh? You're blocked. Um, no, please tweet us. I won't block anyone. I'm really nice. Chloe, you look at me. You're looking at me like completely vacant. I like potatoes. (laughs) Do you really? I mean, they're okay. I don't. Oh, it slid off the end. Wasn't paying enough attention. Is it nearly dry? Yeah. Guys, what sort of things do you want us to do on the Fit Twins um, Instagram page, which is the underscore fit dot twins? Um, we will get a better name and then share it on Skit Twins. But um, what do you want us to do? Do you want to see just like a normal day? Like a normal workout for us or do you want to set us like maybe we fitness challenges like we workouts to try like how many burpees can you do in a minute or like how many press-ups can you do in 10 seconds because i am pretty sure i can do one (laughs) (laughs) i think in a minute i could probably do 10 burpees i said okay 10 burpees yeah 10 seconds that's like six six burpee no one burpee per six seconds I don't think it would take you six seconds to be able to... I know, but at the start the you'd end, be quick yeah. and then at the end you would slow down. You just She just licked the rock again. Just giving you a running update here. She's just fully licking it now. I was licking the big glob off because oh, it was okay. just running everywhere. Um, but yeah, what kind of, just let us know what kind of things you want us to do. We also have our professional acting social medias. Um, give us a follow. Um, but hopefully we'll get a job out of that, yeah. which would be really nice. We would. I th- I like to think even if we did get a proper acting gig, we would still, still do, do a podcast, podcast every now and then. My spits all over the mantelpiece. That's really disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I won't say any more about your spit. It's probably grossing people out. Okay, I'm just just don't go on about it. Okay, it's like the smur. Asthma. Yeah. I'm still sorry about that. You took your hair down and it's real pretty. Oh, thanks. For the tape, Judith is wearing, um, um, her hair down. Her hair down, yeah. (laughs) She's wearing a grey t-shirt and grey trackies for the tape. The grey trackies I never wear out of the house because I just think light grey tracks at bottoms are a wee bit meh. I mean, there are some people who can pull them off, but I don't think I'm one of those people. You totally are. No. I think I wore them to home base one time last Christmas time and I was just like, no, never again. Do they know it's Christmas time? Do 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 and some Christmas tunes came up and I was just like, I am buzzing for Christmas. I'm excited for winter in general, just so I can wear like fluffy clothes and like nice hoodies and jackets and stuff. I'm mostly excited to not be sweating by the time I get to the gym. Yeah. But I probably will be anyway, because I'll leave the house and it'll be freezing cold and I'll be wearing like a coat and a jacket and a scarf and a hat and then I'll get to the gym and I'll be like too warm because I've been walking for half an hour. Yeah. So I don't think I'm ever going to win that battle. Like the battle. 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 Some boy is Ted Hastings. We already we said about... that we got our mommy involved in that. We yeah. started watching it with her. Jeepers, it's taken two weeks to... Oh no. I was going to say it's taken two weeks to get two series done, but we've actually got three series done. No, I think no, we're only on series, series two. But then we're not watching it very regularly. It's sort of like 
Because m- mum has more of a social life than we do. Yep. Well, I mean, we have kind of have a social life, but just mum's always busy in the evenings. Yeah. We're quite busy this week, but... We haven't done a video in the past few weeks because we've been busy as well, yeah. which is... We're going to try and get back onto that. We will. Promise. Um, but it's just, I don't know, things have just got... We've just got way led. Yeah. Um, we've, yeah, just, we've been... Busy! Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I'm just going to do one last quick check on Twitter for questions. Um, so yeah, at skit underscore twins on Twitter. And the same on Instagram. Yeah, Facebook. on Instagram it's at skit under slash twins. Or underscore if you're... And um, our Instagram fitness page thing is the underscore fit dot twins. But if you go on to skit twins and see who we're following or... Maybe we've tagged them in some Yeah, posts. I've made sure to tag and post. Um, so. so you'll find you'll find all our accounts there anyway. Um, we're also on Facebook and YouTube if you just search Skit, Skit Twins. Twins. That's S-K-I-T-T-W-I-N-S. I wonder if we got any new listeners from U105. Because Frank did mention the word Skit Twins quite a lot. Yeah. If you're here, thanks to Frank, uh, just send us a tweet or a message or a comment on Facebook or what YouTube. What if Frank's listening to this? Frank, you're Frank. great. Uh, you're a great broadcaster. Someday I would like to do the weather just for the crack, really. I think it would be class. Oh man, I'd be affronted if Frank listened to this. Uh, Frank, so... I'm really sorry. I don't normally lick, lick rocks. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. The fact... I also understand that it's human's fault that like baby turtles get stuck in bottles. And I'm aware that it's not actually plastic bottles that they get stuck in. They get stuck in like the wiggy tabs for cans and plastic bags and... Yeah, um, I was just being a wee bit silly this podcast. Don't take me for reals. Frank, I would like to apologise for hashtag Frank Clock, but I'd also like to not apologise because my friends in England and America and Australia all think that you are class and that is thanks to me. Uh, so you're welcome for, uh, you know, I have helped develop your worldwide fan base. Uh, but I'm sorry for being a wee bit enthusiastic sometimes. Also, don't fancy it. Just to throw that out, like, no offence. <laughs> I was going to change just, the subject, but do just, go on. <laughs> you're just good at doing the weather, okay? I I get a lot of people saying that uh, I really, that, that I like you, and I you're, you're a good weather guy, good on the radio, but I mean, just, let's just leave it there. Goodbye. She likes you, but she respects your distance. I respect everyone's distance, to be honest. I didn't put on deodorant this morning. So you're respecting everybody's distance? I was a joke. Moving on. Oh. This has just got awkward. I was I was going to say things and, um, oh yeah, go out and do sports, guys, because sports are, sports are great. Um, And like, even if you think, oh no, but I can't see very well, I can't do sports or insert another excuse in here. That's no excuse. Get out, go for a walk, go do like basketball and there's loads of sports out there, get involved. The only barrier is yourself. Amen. Because we do triathlons, we can't even see. Yeah, I mean, don't, yeah, don't just, don't let anything hold you back. Go out and do the thing, prove people wrong. As long as it's legal, just go do it. Yep, yep, if it's, if there's a law against it, don't. Definitely don't. Yeah. And can we please never speak of Frank Mitchell again? (laughs) So, along with other banned topics on this podcast, now has been added Frank. Let's just read out the topics here. Brexit. (laughs) Stormont. Licking rocks. (laughs) I will probably lick a rock in future. No, we can can talk about Frank, but I mean, you know, just as a, he's a weather person. Not allowed to talk about periods. (laughs) Meaning the full stops. Not allowed to talk too much about toilet stuff. We haven't talked about pee in a while. I know. I peed yesterday in the sea. It was good. I think everybody did. <laughs> it was just like... <laughs> I think everybody got in and everyone was like, right, if we all pee... <laughs> Do you hear that? Yeah. <sighs> but we, we Go like... search up Tojo Lazari. He's a good guy. He's a para, para-athlete. He... Also has... Cassie Cava. Yeah. Good Irish para-triathletes. Yeah. They're class. Good guys. Um... But yeah, I was like, we were going into the sea and I was sort of at knee height and I had like dunked already. 
So there was water like dribbling down my wetsuit and Louise looked at me um, and she was like, just don't go here. <laughs> it's too shallow. And I was like, I'm not, I can't, what? <laughs> and then we went out a little bit deeper and I was like, Louise, stop. I can't, I can't walk and do this. <laughs> at the sea. Louise, I need to concentrate, okay? And then I had to explain what concentrating was. Concentrating is just whenever you have to sort of float there and do nothing because you're concentrating so it's hard. It's like the Michael, My My Michael McIntyre joke whenever he's talking about the beach and there's always one guy that's just like, <sighs> yeah, in the sea and you can tell what he's doing. But yeah, it's, it's a real skill to try and not look like that. But I think everybody, to be fair, looked like that yesterday. I think everybody peed in the sea because the queues for the port of were just too long. And if I peed my way to that's long. stinking. I hate doing that. I mean, you swat like you did it before the swim, so like by the time you got out of the water. Yeah, it would have been away. Yeah. I don't think I don't remember my wetsuit or my tri suit stinking, but I was really like whenever I was thinking about it, I was like, No, but what if it leaves a pure like mark on my tri suit and then I take off my wetsuit and everyone's like, Oh, she peed But I didn't but like I don't like like that's the one thing I don't like about salt water swims because then after the bike like, or like after the run or whatever the salt has got all crusty all over your tricep yeah. and it's just all uh you can just see the white yeah <laughs> can we start talking about pain because I do kind of need to pee and it's not <laughs> I'm really I'm... sorry for anybody who's listening who like is like stuck in a car or a bus or whatever or Lying in bed is the worst thing or and that you're listening to a podcast and you have to pee and I'm really sorry. Or halfway through a, a workout at the gym and you're yeah. on a machine and you're like, no, but I have to, I wanted to do 20 minutes in this and I'm five minutes through. If I leave now, someone else will take it and I won't get to finish. But I really have to go. That's like, I don't know, it's just some days that that's my issue. I'll literally, I'll be like, oh yeah, I just peed. So like, I'll be able to do like a 40 minute stint on the bike or whatever. I'll sit down and pretty much instantly I'll be like, I didn't go well enough. <laughs> Yeah, guys, just make sure it's all out. Yep. Wherever you go, just hang, take that, hang take, back an extra minute. Yeah, take that extra few Someone seconds. knocks on the door. What, what do you say whenever someone knocks on the door? We talked about this before as well. Did you? Yeah, you do your wee... <coughs> oh, sometimes I sort of go... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's only happened to me once, and I just went, hold on. I think at one point I was like, yeah... <laughs> 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 Who is it? <laughs> As if they wanted to ask me a question. <laughs> Jehovah Witness was witness in the doors. <laughs> I would imagine that, that would just, be the war. <laughs> just, I already know Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> just sing a wee song. Who is that knocking on my door? <laughs> we we got. Was it Jehovah's Witnesses that came to the door in Donegal? I think so, yeah. And I, I kind of opened the door and they were like, Hi! And I was like, Hi! Hey. I just hid behind the door then because like, mum came out and joined you and then I was like, not a look weird if I come out and join too. But also, want to hear the goss? <laughs> want to hear the goss pull? Want to hear the gossip? <laughs> <laughs> but and, I and then she came in and she's like, why didn't you come out? Why did you just like stand there you could have just like gone into the kitchen room and i was like no but i wanted to hear what was being said i don't even fully remember what they said but i remember mum being like oh yeah we go to church <laughs> yeah i just remember your answer to the first question it was like do you think we can all have a, a like an intimate relationship with jesus and you're just straight up yeah <laughs> and they were like oh <laughs> you could actually see it on their faces they were like oh we've never had this answer before <laughs> just oh they're christians <laughs> But it was like a really young guy and a really old guy, and I was kind of like, right, okay, it's crack, how's it going? Yeah. Son, no, no, I don't think so. But I was just like, yeah, and then I was, he was like, where are you from? And I was like, oh, from Claudia, just outside there. And he was like, oh, I'm from up that direction too. And then he said he was from like Porter Down, and I was like, mm, that's a wee bit far away, mate. Yeah, <laughs> like that's that's not like just up the road. I mean, two Americans, yeah, but he was not American. Although he did have that weird American accent, but I don't know. Like, you know the way sometimes people yeah, no, go yeah, no, to America and they come back and then they have that weird like, hybrid accent? Him, what do you call him? The, the golfer. golfer. Graham McDowell? Yeah. Or Graham McDowell, whatever you call him. Yeah. He's a rare accent. Don't lose your accent, people. If you're if you're moved in somewhere different, just make your accent like ten times stronger. Yeah. People will eventually learn to understand you or else to just leave you alone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was basically going to repeat what you said and I was like, no, just stop. But yeah, I think that, that'll probably do us. This has been an absolute... 
We didn't plan it. Normally we have a wee bit planned, but today we just sort of dived straight in. Yep. So it has been a wee bit of a mess. Sorry. But also if you liked it, let us know if you like the mess of a podcast or you like it slightly planned. Yeah. Yeah. Um, listen to our other podcasts too. They're on SoundCloud, iTunes, and all our older ones are on YouTube. So give them a listen there. Uh, if we can find somewhere to put them online so you can download them. Well, you can download them on SoundCloud. But can you get all of them on SoundCloud? No, but if you down, if you do- download it, if you're listening to this one now, just download it and then... But you can save it on it. iTunes too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so just download it and save it, but it'll it'll be on YouTube eventually too. Yeah. So. Anyway, uh, take care, be good. Share our social medias again, um, skit under slash twins on or, Twitter and Instagram. Or skit underscore twins. And also on Instagram, the underscore fit dot twins. Yeah. So give us a follow, send us a wee, a wee tweet. Um, if you want to throw out any longer questions or topics... Uh, our email address is skit.twins at gmail.com. We made it to an hour and honestly about 19 minutes in I was like we're I never didn't gonna think, I was didn't like think we're not even gonna make half an hour here. Yeah. But um yeah. That's why it always seems to work. We always just get distracted and just talk. Start chatting. But yeah. Thank you very much. Um I'm gonna try and stop this at one minute one hour and one minute. Exactly. So Cheers for Bye. Wee.